Hello Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your December 2020 reading. The Star of the Universe Tarot. We are doing the main challenge for December. We have the outside influences that are directly affecting you and your person. We have advice, these uh, four major arcanas around that are going to give us advice on the outside influences uh, directly affecting you and your person. And then we're going to go ahead and um, clarify with the Universal Celtic Tarot. And then I'll go ahead and throw a Dragon Oracle at the end for any final advice, okay? Let me see one more. Let's dive into your energies. Okay, so we have choices. Feeling blocked and restrained. Mm -hmm. This is number six. Number six is the is the number of Venus, is the number of love. So definitely, um, Virgo, feeling that Venetian energy, but um, choices. Could be choices in love, could be choices in a career, but it's definitely something that... Um, I'm feeling Nine of Swords energy here. Just something that's giving you a lot of anxiety and keeping you up at night. Okay, so outside influences, we have the crumbling. This is basically the tower. What are you clinging on to? So there's definitely a choice and something that needs to be let go. And it's very uncomfortable, but behind the tower, there's all this beauty, you know? We have Pleiades, double mission, channeling, and uplifting humanity. This could be the tower moment that you're having. You're realizing that you're here for a higher purpose. And now you're real. You're trying to realize, like, okay, so what is my choice here? What are my choices here? What do I do in order to make sure that I'm being true to my soul path? Okay, the outside influences for your person. We have align your life. What is not what is not aligned or what needs to change? So you and your person are kind of going through the same thing. You with choices and them with alignment, trying to align themselves back with their soul path. They're trying to figure out what their soul path is. We have unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Yeah, it's almost like you guys are marrying each other. You could be dealing with the twin flame here. Well, my neck is really hot. Yeah, you could, some of you, not all, but some of you are definitely playing with the twin flame right here. And they're definitely marrying everything you do. So be very, very aware of what you're doing, especially if you're trying to call your twin back into being. All right, so we have the Emperor Taurus. Uh, Aries energy the, um, we're, this is what we're trying to reach we're trying to reach being in our power in our complete power without ego just pure um, how would I say this like a, a pure boss figure just really running things the way it needs to be ran yeah because we know that happiness is in the other side of this you're just you're waiting for this tower to fall And your person in secret is waiting for this tower to fall as well. And it's funny because what I'm getting here is they're really hoping and praying that by this full moon you guys will be back together. And there's a lot of honor in this too. Like you feel, you see her, her, um, her hand over her heart or over her gem. This is, this is, this is a real wish that, that, you know, a wish on the evening star. Because they want their empress back. You got the emperor and the empress. I told you some of you guys are dealing with twin flames. If not, you're definitely dealing with the divine counterpart. <laughs> Sorry. My Pisces is showing. Let me put it away. <laughs> Alright. Let's start clarifying. Tell me about choices for Virgo. 
We have the Six of Wands. You have a choice here on recognition, a choice in success on where you want to ride this horse and what is your success. Tell me about ooh, the tower. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio Pisces energy. Sorry, Scorpio Pisces, Cancerian energy. The Five of Cups. The Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so there's a wish fulfillment. This King of Wands is trying to fulfill here. And it's coming, like... It's coming from, uh, this person is writing off from something that disappointed them in the path, in the path, <laughs> in the past, excuse me, something that, that they are really regretful about, something that left them in the river of tears, something that had them crying over spilled milk. But if you see this card, like they're really, really writing fast away from this. And that was their tower moment towards this. This wish, um, I'm sorry, not this wish fulfillment, this six of cups towards this, um, this pure and innocent soulmate. This king of wands is coming back because they want victory here. They want victory with this six of cups energy because they're very nostalgic about this, uh, about what they left behind. Because look, if you see this five of cups, what is he staring at? He's staring into the past. He's staring into when things were great, when things were sweet, when things were innocent, pure, love. And he's ready. They're coming back. He's coming back in the king, this King of Wands energy, trying to make it to this Emperor energy. Talk, talk to me about alignment. The High Priestess, yeah. They're trying to learn how to listen to their intuition. And then you have alignment, High Priestess, and the Moon. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. But there's very, very strong indication that this full moon is going to have your guys' intuition off the chain. And if not just that, there's definitely something, some huge ass reveal that's coming. It's on the 30th, the 29th, the 30th. 29th and the eastern, east coast and then, yeah, you know, you know how that works. <laughs> Um, unbound? Talk to me about unbound. What are we unbinding ourselves from? Hermit energy. This is you, Virgo. This is what we like to do. I'm a Virgo moon, so I'm all about shadow work. I'm all about, um, taking the time and figure, figuring out ancestral wounds. I like, I like that shit. To me, it's history. I'm a history person. I want to say most earth, most earth signs could just... They, they, they're very um, enticed with history. So going into Herman mode and going into shadow work and getting those downloads from once upon a time ago, we get, we get addicted to this shit. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is why when the Hermit comes out upside down, you know that you're finally out of Hermit mode. <laughs> You can go back to sleep, puppy. You don't have to stay up if you don't want to. Tell me about the emperor. Oh, here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Thank you. My hands are stuck to you. <laughs> Sorry. You have the sun twice, you guys. You have... You have um, real beautiful Leo energy. You have the sun. The, I mean, Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Hi, puppy. You win, baby. Yeah, I win. <laughs> you win. They, they say you, my son says you win across. He's a, he's a Leo moon, so he feels like he's winning right now, too. <laughs> Tell me about the moon. You guys are the sun. You know, the sun and the moon is actually. No, um, I win. The sun and the moon are considered divine counterparts as well. So you have the emperor and the empress, and you have the sun and the moon. And if you come out with the magician, with the high priestess, I'm just, I'm going to just flop over and die. Because there's just, that's just too many indications of, um, of, a what you call it, of a divine counterpart. So, um, clarifying the moon, we have the king of pentacles. So this could have to do with the job. This could have to do with the boss. 
Um, but somebody's definitely coming in to offer you something solid. Now, um, I don't want to make any assumptions yet because I don't know if this is the same person, the same energy as this King of Wands. I don't know if this King of Wands and this King of Pentacles is the same person trying to embody this Emperor energy because the Emperor is basically all four kings. But um, tell me more about the King of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is coming in very slowly, but they're coming in with an offer. They're coming in with with a solid ass offer. Um, tell me more about this offer. What are we offering? Oh, okay. Somebody felt left out in the cold. Look at all these full moon cards we're getting. <laughs> Yeah, Five of Pentacles. This is Taurian energy. This is feeling left out in the cold. Somebody is is um. Someone is moving slowly to uh, slowly slowly towards you to offer something solid because this is how they feel. They felt left out in the cold, and with the Five of Cups energy and the Five of Pentacles energy, I'm starting to feel like the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands is the same energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Okay, I see what it is. When this person is nostalgic about you, there is a very passionate um, type of nostalgia going on. Like, this isn't just like... Uh, how do you say it? This is not just memories. These are... These are fantasies. I know this. there's no seven of, seven of Cups here, but you have the Ace of Cups under the deck. And I want to say that this person is fantasizing about a brand new beginning with you. And it gets really lusty and passionate under those, um, what are they called? It's those fantasies that that's why this person comes out as the King of Wands here. And it's probably like this energy comes out a bit too much for you, Virgo. And you're like, oh, no. This is a player. I could feel it. But underneath all that lust, there's the King of Pentacles. There's something solid here. I think that's what Spirit's trying to tell you. Like, this person, yes, they're lusty, but they're lusty for you. You're, they're the Emperor, and you're their Empress, and that's the end of that. <laughs> tell me about the Empress. Oh, yeah. You're taking a break from this, from this situation, though. You know you're an Empress. You know what you're doing to work on yourself. And you're working towards the sun. Tell me about the sun. Um, oh, okay. There may have been Here comes the sun. a third party situation at some Here point, but it came out upside down and you might... Shh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Possibly with the Cancerian, but there's definitely an ending to a third party situation here and that's going to be the enlightenment here this was the enlightenment that there is a third party and they're being cut the fuck out tell me more yeah because they're they wanted to make a solid offer towards you what's this page of pentacles what are we offering a true divine soulmate this is also the star card is also your uh performance card so it could be that somebody this King of Pentacles is, is coming and offering you a brand new career that's going to uplift you and uh, put you in the public eye. Oh my God, under the deck you have the Emperor again. You have the Emperor, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Wands. Ooh, the King of Swords upside down. The Magician, I can't. <laughs> and the Three of Swords. I told you, I told you, I told you I was going to fucking roll over and die if the fucking magician came out, dude. You have the magician and the high priestess. You have the emperor and the empress, which you have the emperor and the empress twice. And then now you have the king of swords and the king of the king and queen of swords. One more, one more do you want? One more do you want? Blocking this person or, or you blocking this person caused a lot of heartbreak. And they're back. They're back to manifest. Let me tell you what they're back to manifest. They're back to manifest this. <laughs> they want the ice queen to come back to the ice kingdom. Let me tell you why. Because this is the emperor. And we need our empress 
by our side because it's about fucking time. And you know, like, you know, this is, this is the ships waiting to come in. This is your ship waiting for to come in. You are waiting for this emperor to come offer you this brand new beginning and you're ready to take the sleep of faith. Why? Because there was somebody in the fucking picture with the lover's card, but you know what? They're stuck in the past now. They're done. They're done. Why? Because there's three of cups here upside down. Like I said, it could be dealing with a cancer. It could be a cancer that got moved. It could be a cancer that got cut off. But what's going on here is definitely somebody is moving on and moving on forward from the past to the present. And they're going to build a future with you. Why? Because they want that leap of faith. <sighs> Lord have mercy. That is going to be an interesting December, Virgo. <laughs> um... My mom and my sister are Virgo Venuses, so this is going to be fun to watch. <laughs> um, <laughs> any final advice? Whoa, that's way too many. Way, way too many. Can I have one card, please, for Virgo? For the final advice for December 2020, please? They still want to give me multiple. Let me see how many they gave me. Oh, okay, that's manageable. They gave me two. Yep. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. And I say, it's alright. Alright, so we have the black dragon from Saturn. Brings you wisdom through spiritual discipline. Concentrate. Focus on your ultimate vision. Congratulate yourself. You have passed the test. Those of you guys that are in a twin flame union right now, I mean, twin flame separation, by December, you guys are going to be in union. And y'all come and tell Star of the Universe all about it, too. Let me tell you. Come tell Debbie, because I want to know. I'm nosy. <laughs> Earth and Water Dragon. Create the foundation for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. Oh. There it goes. How exciting. Okay, let me go ahead and read for you of the book. Because I love these. I love these messages. They're just so beautiful. Okay, so we have the earth and water dragon creates the foundation for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities. Nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. Your guidance messages. If you're planting a tree... You place its roots in the, into the soil and make sure it has a good foundation. Then you activate its growth with water. In due course, you harvest fruit. This is almost like a Seven of Pentacles energy I'm getting, which is also a divine timing card. That's also Virgo energy. This card is showing you... Oh, I'm sorry. The more effort you put into providing the perfect conditions for the tree, the better the crop. This card is showing you that this is a good time to create. With the gracious with the gracious assistance of the earth and water dragons, you can lay a strong foundation for your future. Picking this card suggests it's time to start a new phase in your life. Fresh opportunities may be presenting themselves to you, so be ready to nurture any idea or visions that come to you. The earth and water dragons will enable you to know intuitive, intuitively what is right for you and to harness your creativity. They will help you generate the right conditions to succeed. They will motivate you to put in the necessary work for this is an important step and then you can harvest your abundance. Most importantly, they will help you to take things lightly. So listen to your inner wisdom the time to take action is now. <sighs> this is an intense ass reading, Virgo. Um, I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys for the new moon readings. Bye. Debbie.